video instruction is for old style inlet valves found on the S15 and C15 series BOGA compressors. Prior to beginning work, make sure the sump pressure is at zero PSI before shutting off power to the compressor and locking out the machine. Instructions on how to check sump pressure can be found below in the description of this video. Start by removing the solenoid cord cap from the solenoid valve. The screw holding the cord cap on is located on the back of the cord cap. If the cap is stuck on the valve, gently rock the cap back and forth to work it free. Next, loosen and remove the four bolts located on top of the solenoid valve. Once the bolts are loose, remove them from the solenoid valve. The solenoid valve can now be removed from the compressor. Be careful as you lift the valve. The solenoid anchor is loose inside and may slide free of the valve body. Using a hook tool, or if unavailable, using two small opposing Allen wrenches, rock the poppet cap free of the intake valve housing. Be careful not to damage the interior of the poppet cap. The poppet and spring should now be visible. Carefully remove the spring and the poppet. Before installing the new spring and poppet, lubricate the o-ring on the poppet with grease such as white lithium or Valvoline crimson. Do not use excessive amounts of grease as this may impede the operation of the solenoid poppet valve. Remove any excess grease from the top and the bottom of the solenoid poppet. Next, the poppet cap slides over top of the spring and poppet. Be careful not to pinch or displace the spring on top of the poppet. Slide the solenoid anchor back into the solenoid valve body and place the valve back on top of the poppet cap assembly. Hold light pressure on the valve to keep the parts from shifting. Tighten the four bolts that hold the valve together. A moderate amount of tension will do. Too much may strip the threads from the intake valve housing. Finally, reinstall the cord cap onto the solenoid valve and tighten the single retaining bolt. Use light tension on this bolt as it is easy to strip the threads from the solenoid valve body.